Another Harley Benton guitar is on the demo leg today. Um, this time the L450 Plus, what is it? It's a Les Paul, come on. It's an L450, of course they can't say Les Paul, I guess, because Gibson will cut their nuts off. Um, who is them? Well, Harley Benton. Who's Harley Benton? The nice folks at Turman who gave me this extremely proper kind of polo shirt. Uh, I'm not a polo shirt guy, as you might have guessed, but I thought, hey, let's wear it anyway, because I will look so 
part of the Tomon team, which I'm not. I don't even get to keep these! Damn it! So, um, yeah. You've heard it in the other videos. If you've seen it, if you haven't seen them, why haven't you seen them? Um, at the end of this video, there's links to all of them, all six or all five, because you're watching this one. Um, guitars for ridiculously low prices, 149 bucks. Someone on my channel said, hey, can you do reviews for them? And I was like, oh, God, crappy kids' guitars that are unplayable. What am I going to do with them? So I went down to Toman, drove for three freaking hours because of you people. So, you know, keep the comments coming, please. Um, <laughs> and um, met with the, the nicest people in the world, seriously. And uh, they, they're, they're musicians selling stuff two musicians, four musicians, because they are musicians. And that, there's no other way to say that. Um, and try to say that. Um, I said it in the other videos, usually a guitar in this price range looks like a Les Paul, or a Tele, or a Strat. And the kids will buy them because they look like a certain type of guitar. Usually they will buy the one with the spikes and all black and metal. Metal! But what you can expect Hopefully, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, it is tunable, meaning the tuners work and don't have big jumps or something. It's, you know, it's usable because when you're a beginner, uh, it's hard to tune a guitar. Um, you, ho you hope it stays in tune. You hope the action is set up so that it's actually playable and not like, you know, you, that an elephant can run under uh, around the 12th fret. Um, and you hope that the frets are kind of nicely uh, shaved off so you don't hurt yourself when you do this, when you, when you whack off the guitar, for all you guitar whack offers. Um, so, yeah, actually, there's so much more to these babies. Holy crap. They do all this. They also give you a beautiful feel of a guitar that is perfectly made in that style that the guitar is in. Here we're talking about Les Paul, and it is everything you want from a Les Paul. It's uh, It's got the mahogany body. Just see where it's put together. Cleverly done. Ah, right here, I can see it. Three-piece body this time. Ah, here they didn't hide it as well as on the other one. <coughs> so, um... What, where was I going? I was just... I was... Uh, um... Is uh, I was saying it's yeah mahogany body, uh, carved maple top. Uh, the only thing that feels slightly cheapish is maybe the plastic parts, but I'm pretty sure if I pick up a Gibson, you know, they don't have. Do they have nicer plastic? Um, of course, a guitar with a glued in neck, okay, and a binding and a body binding. All this is difficult to do for 149. I don't even know how it's possible. The uh, tuning, st tuning thingies. Oh my God! Can't we really see this? You saw it in the in the slideshow. The nice um, vintage style, okay. Uh, clues and type <coughs> work fine. Absolutely fine. Look, kind of. I never liked this with the little plasticky plastic ghost looking knobs, but it's fine. Absolutely, it, it it feels great. Um, now you're asking yourself, why is there another one of it standing behind me? Is that his brother, and they don't leave the house alone? No, this is the one I used in the track. This is the one I used for two weeks. Absolutely great. But apparently, after many emails and talking to Lasse in Copenhagen, uh, who's the Harley Benton guitar guru, um, there might be a problem with this type of plug which is a Neutrik silent plug. And apparently it is just the dimensions are slightly wrong to be compatible or to you know, not break the Harley Benton jack. Now, this one's working fine, luckily. Uh, I had to replace the jack on two other Harley Benton guitars. And this one I tried to replace on the original Cherry Burst that we have here, but it just wasn't happening. It, I, then I had buzzing, humming, I don't know what was wrong. So they sent me another one. And it works beautifully. So, why am I telling you this? 
Am I saying the guitar is crap and doesn't work? Well, it might if you're using this type of plug, <coughs> but just in case it does break, uh, they just send you a new one. Okay, 30 days, no questions asked. And after, what, if, what if something happens after that? Who gives a flying crap? Three year Toman warranty. Either they sit on the phone with you and tell you how to fix it yourself, or you send it there, okay, their dime, and they're paying and they're fixing it. So now that's for 149 bucks. That's a guarantee that I'm taking to the bank. So, Toman people, killer crazy, you're nuts. No idea how you're making money with this. So, um, you see, actually, if you look at this, the um, bank, uh, the the tiger stripe is a little bit washed out, which is kind of nice, and I really liked it. But then I got this, which is a little bit brighter, a little bit more yellow, and it just came out differently. And um, I have to say, I, I really like both, but I'm thinking this is just a little bit more my thing. Before we get to the setup, let me tell you something about the track that you heard in the beginning. It is called Hot Swabbable, and what it is about is as dirty as a rock and roll type music gets. But uh, it was recorded with my good friend Klaus Tropp, okay? And uh, this is him right there. He is one of the most amazing drummers I know, um, and good in bed. So I heard. Uh, no, seriously, Klaus is the coolest guy, and I'm going to catch hell for this. But uh, I had the biggest fun recording this Led Zeppelin-type track, and that's why I picked it for this guitar, because, hey, this is all classic rock. Or is it modern metal? Or is it jazz? Or is it blues? You know what? Les Paul is everything. So let's get into everything after this setup. Okay, and here's a setup. Here's the Mogami cable that the guitar is going through, and it's going into some sort of drive. Depending on the guitar, I'm going to show you a picture right here. Okay, those are the pedals we're using. They're being powered with a Carl Martin Pro Power. That is then going, that's of course, you know, tuner. Um, that is going into the right there, Strymon. Brigadier analog delay and then into the Sir Badger. In the effects loop of the Sir Badger, we got the Strymon Big Sky. Let me show you those guys. That is going into the 112 cab. That's a warehouse speaker, a Veteran 30. They're being mic'd with an MB75 from Thoman. It's a, you know, SM57 copy and it's a very good one. You can find the link under the video. And the SCT2000 tube mic. Very, very cool. And I am speaking in another tube mic from the T-Bone, which is this. It's called the Retro Tube 2. And uh, those are the cases for them. crazy good. They're going into those power supplies where you can also switch the different pickup patterns. Then they're going into the Universal Audio 4710D preamp and that's going into the Fireface 800 which is going into the computer. The AD is handled by the Universal Audio. It's just going light pipe into the computer. And um, that is pretty much it. Back to me now. Okay, you've seen the setup, and what we actually have on the board in terms of drives is the T-Rex dual drive for two different kinds of settings, but I also put the Minotaur that you saw in the video back on there because that gives you a very nice midi kind of uh, beautiful lead sound. Okay, so, but we're going to start completely dry into the sur without anything. doesn't push it as much as the uh, L400 with the P90s did, so I can still kind of think it's a clean sound. Mm -hmm. 
So, low output humbuckers, which I like. I mean, I can always add more, but taking away is, is more difficult. It's not just rolling back the, the volume because that really... It changes the sound. <coughs> looking for an F what the crap sorry so okay what we're gonna do is uh, do something weird how good of a jazz guitar is that well because you do know that Les Paul was actually wasn't he a jazz player he was never thinking of drop D drop C do you know, that, that never never occurred to him when he designed this guitar. And we roll back the tone a little bit. I knew what I was doing, I could say, you know, hey, it's a great jazz guitar, but as anyone who knows me knows, I don't play jazz. I really don't know how to. If there's one thing to be said about the L450 Plus from Harley Benton is that it is very mahogany-ish. So it is missing just a tiny bit of high end. It's missing a little bit of bite in the high end which you can easily get from your drive pedal or your amp just by boosting the high end. Um, I'm thinking that it's a good thing because it highlights the character of the Les Paul probably a little bit more than, than the Les Paul should, but um, it's not a drawback for me because it always just sounds nice and round. So, <clears throat> moving on. <laughs> dynamic very beautifully dynamic um, let's get some overdrive and see what the puppy does <laughs> up
thing I will say, and I'm not working for two months, so I can openly say that without getting a lawsuit thrown in my face. I've had many students that they start or they've played a bit and they want a Les Paul type guitar. What do they buy? They buy an Epiphone because Gibson's way too expensive. So I'm sorry, people. Gibson are not manufactured well anymore. You spend 2000 bucks on a guitar that, if you're lucky, can do what this can do. That's what I'm saying that. Please comment and call me an idiot. So then you're buying Epiphone, which is, you know, the cheap m- crap company from a company that doesn't make good, good guitars anymore. So there's crappy guitars here, and you're buying the cheap company. Of course, you can get a good one. That's possible. It's possible that you get a guitar from Epiphone that's not bad. I've had guitars for 400, 500 euro, where two frets next to each other sounded like this. Exactly, they sounded exactly the same. Now that's a badly set up and badly made guitar. I had guitars where you bent a note and all of a sudden the, the tone was gone. Whoop, gone. Whoop, gone. You could never bend this note. E minor pentatonic, 15th fret, B string. Well, that's a note that everyone wants to bend. It was gone, okay? So those guitars don't even function. This one, we're not talking about functioning, we're talking about it sounds good. And of course, every fret works. You're playing really hard. This is fret number 22. And it's even there, it's like the sustain. Up there? Holy crap. Let's listen with the Minotaur. And some of this, and some of this. check price what the fuck check um blues track coming up produced with this check if you want to download it first buy yourself this guitar so you can have fun but um (laughs) play it with your guitar download the track it's right under my video produced by myself for you uh here we go
So there you have it. You've heard it by itself. You've heard me talk about it for way too long again. You've heard it in a beautifully produced track with Klaus Tropp on drums and, oh, Alex Fröse and Benny Körpert singing about... We're not talking about what they're singing about, okay? Um, yeah, fun, fun stuff for the whole family. And um, if you want to buy this, do me the favor, please, because I'm not getting paid, uh, order this guitar through my link under the video. I get some points and can buy myself maybe, maybe, maybe this guitar. That would be cool. And um, <coughs> if you're interested in the other Harley Benton demos of this series that I'm doing, links are at the end coming and I'm out. Please feel free to comment and tell me how great Gibson is. Let's, let's have a nice verbal YouTube, you know, tool argument about that. But, uh, well, whatever. If you have a good Gibson, send it to me. I'll, I'll, I'll do a demo. How about that? I'll see ya. <laughs>